Wow, it's dark in here. It's really dark. Where's my face? Um, I think we need some windows. Hey friends, I'm Stacy. And I'm Kevin. And today we are working on a cargo camper conversion. It's a six by 10 cargo trailer that we are converting to a camper to pull behind a Jeep. And we're doing videos of all the steps along the way, which you can check out on our YouTube channel or at BeFreeBenson.com. So today we are going to let there be light and we are going to add two windows to the cargo camper. And windows are a very unique thing as you put them in that requires a lot of cutting and uh, planning. Come along with us on this journey as we create light in the darkened camper. So for a list of tools, step-by-step -step instructions, tips and tricks, and links to all of the products that we use in this video, you can visit our website at www.befreebenson.com. And just in case you forget, you can look in the description and we will link that website in the description. So let's get, let's get at started. it. Okay, so here's my template, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the window, lay it back down, and make sure that I'm pretty darn close around with everything. And that should give me a pretty good, pretty good, pretty good template of what I want. So right now we're determining where the window is going to be because we have to think about the height of the bed and make sure that the window is not below the bed and we want the bed to be high enough to store things underneath. So we also have that trim piece at the top where the electrical wire goes through so we need to make sure the window is below where that will be. So we're kind of just trying to get some, get some thoughts on where all of this should be and where it'll be placed in the right spot. I'm going to take a small drill bit and drill holes across the top and then especially in the corners so that I can line up my uh, template on the outside and draw it on the outside because I will cut everything from the outside. made a rookie mistake. I should have taped basically around the edge where I knew it was going to be to begin with. So then I would have it for everything. But uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to make sure I line everything up. Okay, so now we're going to try to cut out the window using the jigsaw and avoid it tearing any of the wallpaper on the inside. Now we're gonna go ahead and put the window in. Oh, oh, but are we putting it in caulking or no, anything no, like we'll, that? We we'll, just put we'll, it in and screw it yeah, in? Yeah, we'll put it in, we'll screw it in, and then we'll, we'll caulk around the outer edge later. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and put the window in and screw it in. Okay, so we got the windows in. This one turned out as good as it could for the fact that the paint was peeling everywhere. And you can kind of still see a few places underneath the graphic. That was a lot harder work than we had ever expected it to be. And I'm really not sure why that panel did that. Obviously it's, it's faulty, but uh, the other side, which we'll show you in just a second, actually was a lot better. Everything went a lot smoother. The other side, we opted not to go with any type of graphic just because we felt like, well, well one, we didn't need it because this particular metal on this side is fine, but this window went in a lot easier. 
For more videos like this, click on the video on the screen or go to our channel for more playlists. If you found value in this video, go ahead and hit that like button and also subscribe to our channel. If you'd like to see all the products and the tools and the different stuff we've used and have a step-by-step -step guide, you can go to our website, www.befreebenson.com. And remember, doing things yourself allows you to be free. <laughs> you, you can you say. Well, you can yeah. say. So uh, come along with on this. Come along with us. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> no, you need to be in closer, but we want to show the window. Okay, now do it again. You go ahead. No, you go ahead. I'm waiting on you. <laughs>